Hey, what's up? It's Eric, and today I'm discussing the nootropic effects of yoga. The practice of yoga traces its roots back to over 4,000 years ago in ancient India and has since been used both recreationally and therapeutically for its mind-enhancing benefits. While yoga's physical benefits cannot be understated, its mental benefits may be even more profound. This is because yoga has a direct positive influence on the mind-body connection. The movements and poses in yoga have been designed in a way to encourage your body's physiology to promote mental optimization. The benefits of yoga come in its ability to help control breathing. The action, depth, and frequency of breath can have a direct effect on our autonomic nervous system. And breathing's direct effect on the autonomic nervous system is essentially what can dictate how severe our mental conditions can be. For example, we know that those people who have a condition that affects breathing also suffer from high rates of anxiety and depression. And breath retraining, including diaphragmic breathing techniques, have been used in treating many psychiatric disorders. A number of studies have been conducted that highlight yoga's effectiveness in treating mental health conditions. This meta-analysis reviewed 18 randomized controlled studies on yoga's antidepressant effectiveness, and of the 18, 17 showed yoga significantly improved the subject's symptoms of depression, in many cases more so than antidepressant drugs. Yoga's physical benefits also have a direct positive effect on mental well-being. Yoga has been successful in lowering levels of oxidative stress, which essentially underlies inflammation, which has been implicated in most chronic diseases, including depression. In this study, yoga was able to significantly increase levels of antioxidants in the body, including glutathione, superoxide dismutase, vitamin C, and vitamin E. This study on 65 randomized yoga participants suffering from heart failure showed improvements in parasympathetic activity pertaining to heart health, including significant decreases in heart rate, blood pressure, and rate pressure product, along with a significant increase in heart rate variability versus the control group. This is important because we know that heart health can directly influence mental health. Now, while most people who have taken a yoga class can attest to its ability to lower stressful feelings, there is data that shows yoga's ability to actually lower the production of stress hormones in the body, most notably cortisol levels. This study in the Indian Journal of Psychiatry shows significant drops in cortisol after three months of yoga, which also correlated directly to symptoms of depression. Another nootropic effect you get from yoga is its ability to help you sharpen your focus. Practicing yoga has shown evidence for improving symptoms of ADHD. This 12-week study on kindergartners who participated in 30-minute Hatha yoga classes twice a week showed significant improvements in different ADHD metrics. Yoga has even shown to have anti-aging benefits. This 12-week study on 96 relatively healthy participants who performed different yoga and meditation-based lifestyle interventions, including asanas, pranayama, and meditation resulted in the significant lowering of all inflammatory markers and significant increases in anti-aging markers, including total antioxidant capacity, telomere activity, BDNF, and sirtuin activity. It's important to note that these people were doing these different practices five days a week for 90 minutes each practice. And while this may not be practical for most people, to me, this emphasizes the importance of implementing a regular routine of these practices in your day. Many yogis see benefits of yoga in its ability to just simply control anxiety. This may be due in part to yoga's ability to increase GABA levels in the brain, along with the power of pranayama-controlled breathing's ability to shift the body into parasympathetic nervous system dominance through vagal stimulation. This shift into parasympathetic dominance is one of yoga's biggest tools to help lower stress in the body as well. Now, yoga's benefits on anxiety, or at least clinically diagnosed anxiety, are a little less clear as there does not seem to be many studies directly evaluating the direct relationship with strict enough criteria between yoga and anxiety. However, there is this meta-analysis which measured eight randomly controlled trials, including 319 participants, showed no effects for patients with anxiety disorders diagnosed by the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual criteria. But it did find short-term benefits for patients diagnosed with other methods and for individuals with elevated levels of anxiety without a formal diagnosis. 
but it did find short-term benefits for patients diagnosed with anxiety by other methods and for individuals with elevated levels of anxiety without a formal diagnosis. There is, however, plenty of anecdotal evidence for many yogis dealing with symptoms of anxiety and explains why its popularity has led to the industry's almost tripling of income over the last 12 years. Overall, there seems to be plenty of evidence that points to yoga's nootropic benefits. Any yogi who maintains even somewhat of a consistent practice can attest to this. While there is plenty of clinical studies that also highlight this, in the end, you should really be your own judge and try it out for yourself. Now for more on yoga and nootropics, be sure to check out our other video discussing the top nootropics to pair with your yoga practice. And for more on all things nootropics and all things holistic nootropics, be sure to check out holisticnootropics.com. My name's Eric. It's been a pleasure. I'll catch you on the next video.